I'm opening 10 set four chase packs to try to pull the new 99 Ernie Banks. This card honestly looks really good and I've really liked Ernie Banks cards in the past. So I'm excited to give him a shot today, but we're also gonna add a little wager to this video. I'm gonna build my team with the players that I pull from these chase packs. And when we play, we have to win the game and Ernie Banks has to get a hit. If we don't complete either one of those challenges, we have to quick sell everything including Ernie Banks. And right now, Ernie's going for almost 400K on the market. So there's a lot on the line for today's video. All right, chase pack number one. Come on, just don't anything but a gold. Even if it's not Ernie Banks, I'll take it. Just anything but a gold. First one gonna be a pretty low key diamond. Looks like we got Ryan Helsley. So we'll go ahead and add him to the bullpen. Chase pack number two. Come on, I wanna see some gold lights on these. I wanna see a 99 overall pull. Okay, teal lights. Although they did add the all-star cards into this, I'm pretty sure. So it still could probably be like a regular 95. Who is this? 93 Joe Torrey. <laughs> Okay, I completely forgot this card even existed. So Joe Torre is our catcher. Come on, man, I spent a lot of stubs on these chase packs. I really don't wanna have to buy Ernie Banks as well. Oh, for three. Red Sox, is this gonna be Chris Sale? No, it's Devers, okay. So now we've got our third baseman. Seven left, still a good chunk of packs. We got plenty of time to pull this 99 ernie banks another purple though dodgers let me guess will smith trey turner okay well he would have to play second base but still i'll take it so as of right now trey turner's at second we could also move him to center field if needed but for now second base six chase packs remain come on let me see the gold lights right here oh my god these purples are gonna be the death of me cleveland guardians and we've got another relief pitcher i mean at least we're getting some arms the nice thing about this so far is that even if i have to quick sell everything i'm really not losing that many stubs oh oh uh, it's not gonna be it's not gonna be him but we'll take the teal lights it should be a decent pull phillies is this is this bryson yeah bryson stott okay well we're gonna have to figure out what we're doing with all these players so for now trey turner goes to center bryson stott goes to second and we're over halfway through the 10 chase packs come on man come on let's go right here red red is red 99 or gold 99 phillies again bryce is this 97 bryce it is 97, Bryce. So we got our right fielder. Three packs left. This is honestly like a decent team so far. It's not too bad. I don't have a starting pitcher yet. Back-to-back -back red diamond pulls. It's going to be probably... Is this Paul Blackburn? It's the only one it could be, right? Yeah, Paul Blackburn. There's our starter. Honestly, that's not too bad. He's got a decent pitch mix, and Gunsky tells me he likes him, so I'll trust him there. It's not looking good on the Ernie Banks possibility, though. Only two chase packs remain. At least we're fully good on our diamond pulls. Teal, Phillies. Is this going to be Bryson Stott again? Are you kidding me? Oh my God, that doesn't help me at all. Well, I have nowhere to put him there. So here we go, chase pack, the final one. Show me the 99 overall pull, please. Right here, it's red. Okay, well, we need a left fielder. Marlins, who is the Marlins all-star card? Oh, Sandy, sick. So we got two starters now. Sandy doesn't have a ton of energy anyway, so we're just still gonna go with Paul Blackbird. So we are missing a couple positions, and I think I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go ahead and fill those positions with other chase pack players, Julio Rodriguez and Carlos Delgado. And now we have to buy 99 Ernie Banks, and we got him for 387,000 stubs. And that's the final look at the squad. Okay, so what did I actually spend to get this Ernie Banks card? I wanted to get the 10 chase packs, I ended up buying eight of the bundles, which are 75,000 stubs a piece. So I think that's 600,000 stubs right there. Oh, that's a dot, by the way. I did pull two chase packs when I was opening the standard packs that I bought from those bundles. So I only had to buy eight, which was nice. But then what did I spend on Ernie Banks? Like 380,000 stubs? So 600 plus 380, that's about a million stubs trying to get this Ernie Banks card. There we go. 2-2. Two, two. Come on, let's get him with a circle change. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> I thought that was going to get crushed, but he swung so early. I've got Ernie Banks at the leadoff spot because remember, I need to get a hit and win this game. If I don't complete either one of those, he's getting quick sold for like 10K. Oh my God, man, I had that. Oh, I just missed it, dude. I've heard this Daniel Espino card is actually pretty good. This is my first time facing him. 
Not fully squared up. The timing's there on the fastball, though. Ooh. I definitely thought I was going to get a check swing there. Ah, man, that curveball kind of hung. Hey, that's a great play from Trey Turner, though. Could really use a double play in this at-bat. Oh, we got the ground ball, man. Big play, Julio. Big play. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and walk Jason Dominguez to get to his pitcher spot. And there we go. Ernie Banks make that play. Perfect guy to have up in that situation. My God, that was a hell of a swing by Delgado. Yo, Tori! No doubter on the high and in fastball. Did this guy just quit or is this game like insanely laggy? No way I just made this guy rage quit from a Joe Torre home run. He is so mad. <laughs> All right, let's do this again. Sandy should have decent enough energy to get a start here. That last guy really quit because Joe Torre took him yard in the second inning. I'm going to get throttled this game, aren't I? Okay, okay, come on, come on. Yes, yes, okay, only one run. I still need that hit, Ernie. No, I pulled it off. Ugh. Joe Torre again. Oh my God, this card is insane. Tie ball game on a hanging curveball. Honestly, I don't know why I'm surprised. I've always liked Joe Torre cards. There's just always better catchers in the game. So, I mean, I don't really ever have a reason to use it. Second time through the order. I really just have to be careful of the, the ball player on deck, man. He had an absolute tank in the first inning. Ooh, I froze him. All right, man, this may be one of those games where I have to intentionally walk the ball player every time. It just seems like I'm not going to be able to get him out no matter where the pitch is or what. Oh, thank God this is staying in the yard. Come on, we got to get out of this inning. We have two down. Trey, come on. Oh, my God, he's gotten two runs with two outs. Come on. Yo, can we not, Sandy? Oh, my God, Delgado. <laughs> what did I just see? All right, Ernie, come on. Got to get in the hit column. Dude, come on. I can't put it together with Ernie Banks. Does that have enough? Did Julio get all of it? There we go. At least we got one back. Ooh, underneath the zone. I love it. Thing is, is I don't know exactly how long I'm going to leave Oh my God, Bryson. What? He was running towards the outfield. I didn't think there was a chance he could make that play. But as I was saying, I don't know how long I can leave Sandy in on this game because, I mean, he obviously hit him fairly well and Kerry Wood really just got to base it up the middle. Dude. Popped him up. Thank God. I would have freaked out if there was another two out rally. But the problem with taking out Sandy fairly early is that the two relievers I have to use first are Ryan Helsley and Emmanuel Classe. And they're live series cards at that. So I don't really know if either one of those guys are going to be, you know, getting a lot of outs against this dude. All right, this is Sandy's last inning. Ah, dude, I really don't want to pitch to the ball player again. The problem is even if I don't give him anything to hit, it just feels like no matter where the pitch is, he's going to find a way to get on base. I lost him. I lost him on 3-2. How many pitches is this that bad, dude? This has got to be like nine pitches or something. Yep, this is the ninth pitch. He just will not go away. Oh, my God. I, I don't even know what to do anymore. This is 12 pitches. He's fouling off everything. How am I supposed to get him out? And then he hits a grand slam. Oh my God. This is a huge deficit. I only have two runs. I feel like I'll be quick selling Ernie Banks. Brian Roberts too, huh? All right, Ernie Banks, at least for pride. Let's get in the hit column. Yeah. You know what? I didn't want to keep this Ernie Banks card anyway. Oh, Trey Turner's safe on that. I'll take it. Devers. Okay, two guys on. Hey, Ernie, this is a big spot, and we get to face a lefty this time. 
and I still missed it. Yeah, man, I just have not been able to put it together on any Ernie Banks at bat. All right, I'm just jumping ahead to the bottom of the ninth because Ernie Banks is leading off this inning. He's 0 for 4, 0 for 5 in the whole video. And this game's been over since the fifth, so I just want to see if he can get one hit. It would be awesome just to get on base one time. That's the third. Ah. Wishful thinking. Well, simply put, that is one of the worst debuts I've had this entire year. Oh, for six. All right, man, I'm a man of my word. Let's quick sell it all. Paul Blackburn, you've got to go. 10,000 stubs. By the way, he's worth about 40K on the market. Then Sandy Alcantara, he's got to get quick sold as well. Then we got to do Ryan Helsley as well as Emmanuel Colasse. Got to quick sell Bryce Harper as well as... Bryson Stott. There we go. We actually pulled him twice. I'll just quick sell both of them. Screw it. Third base, we had Live Series Devers. Of course, we had Live Series Trey Turner. And finally, the one that makes me very, very sad, Ernie Banks. Quick sell to get 10,000 stubs when I spent about 380,000. Yes, and that's that. All I feel is pain. <laughs>